Welcome to a special presentation about the Power and Possibility Hackathon. I'll be your host, Alexis Trujillo. In this special series, we'll be presenting you as sponsor and mentors of this hackathon, so you can get tips about the approach and projects you may submit. The winner project will get a prize of $10,000 US dollars in SEM and access to the Ignite from NAM Ventures Incubator program. Also, the second and a third prizes will be rewarded. For more about our case studies and projects built on Symbol, visit the enterprise page, symbolplatform.com. In this episode, we're going to be sharing some times and asking some questions to our next mentor. He's Peter Jusef, CTO of IODLT and a very well-known face in our ecosystem. Welcome, Peter, to our show. How are you? Good. How are you, Alexis? Thank you for having me here. No, no, always a pleasure having you, man. But the main question, the power and possibility hackathon. You, well, as I said before, you're pretty well known in our ecosystem, but I guess there are some newcomers to, 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 our, to our ecosystem that don't know you, and mostly they don't know IODLT. How about you tell us a little about yourself and IODLT? Sure. So first off, my name is uh, uh, Bedir Youssef. I'm the CTO and co-founder of IODLT. I started it back in around, tw I think early 2019 it was. Um, before that, I have been already been hacking on NEM and Symbol on the first uh, NEM blockchain. And from there, I progressed to early Catapult. I was there during the first versions of Catapult, which is now known as Symbol, actually. Um, before it was known as Symbol, it was known as Catapult. Um, and from there, I experimented with a lot of different things, a lot of probably things that shouldn't have been done on blockchain, but I did them anyway, just for fun and just to see kind of what would happen, um, which is kind of the inspiration, I think, also for this hackathon is to really experiment and, uh, you know, move the ecosystem forward. My background has mainly been in the full stack world, anything from front end apps to deploying servers for nodes to, of course, IoT, which is one of IODLT's core product uh, offerings. Um, before Symbol and them actually in, into really into um, uh, Ethereum in 2017, but realized that it couldn't really scale with these sort of applications and the things that I wanted to do. And that's when I found them. Um, and ever since then, I've been developing on it ever since. Well, that's great to hear. And well, this is speaking about the, the hackathon. And hackathon is a, is a pretty important uh, opportunity to, to, to find out the new projects and the next star developers of our blockchain. And you've been with Symbol for a while, as you said before. But what do you think is so important it's this hackathon for us for, and also for the developer community well i think you kind of said the reason there i think these hackathons they really bring new people to the ecosystem they introduce people um and incentivize them to sort of come and build on symbol um it's nice to have you know old people in the community people that have been in with the community for a while but having fresh blood in there really will allow the ecosystem to grow as a whole i think it means new ideas, new approaches to problems, more contributions to the project, you know, potentially more contributions to the core repositories, which really, really matter. Um, and I think in this hackathon, we'll probably see solutions that we've never even thought of before, just from, you know, people coming from a fresh perspective without the previous background of, of them. And that's great. And also, Symbol is, is, is pretty e easy to implement. And we're 100%. expecting to see lots of projects, but you, 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 you that are a symbol developer. What kind of projects would you like to see in this hackathon? Well, okay. I think the first thing is um, I really I like to see projects that use a lot of symbols features. All, many blockchain projects that you'll use one part of the blockchain, like oh we're just using it for payments or just for crypto. But symbol really can be used for so much more than that. So I really want to see people use symbol to its full potential. So using all of its features, using the metadata and the restrictions and multi-sig um, and really take full advantage of it. I think that, you know, you can use simple for things to create. Like I think a specific use case that I'd like to see are these kind of open marketplaces on the blockchain where you can buy and sell services, sort of like an exchange, but instead of crypto, you're actually exchanging for something useful, like a service or a product. It could, it could be a code base. It could be, could be music. Um, you know, where you copyright by the original artist and then they can sell their music on a platform. Things like that really will, I think, change the world rather than just creating another uh, payment system or integration. So that's what I'd like to see. Something not too complex, but it uses simple kind of end-to-end, -end, um, but also solves a problem, provides a real service. Yeah, as Vader says, 
real solution for these use cases. And of course, if you, get, you want to get more information about our Power and Possibility Hackathon, you may visit our website, simpleplatform.com slash hackathon, where you may find more about it. And of course, subscribe or send us, submit your project. Well, thank you so much, Bader, for being here with us today. And if you have some hints to that developer who's planning to send us uh, his project or their project, what could you tell them? I would say, um, you know, again, going back to don't make the solution too complex. Don't overthink it. Try to make it simple. If you can simply understand it, chances are it's a good solution. Make sure it solves a real problem that's out there in the real world. Try not to come up with a problem and then come up with a solution to that. Try to find a problem and find a solution to that existing problem. Um, another tip that I see, and that's something that I learned to do, is use the blockchain properly. When you're using the blockchain, remember it's used to validate information, not store information. Don't put all of your data up into a blockchain and you know make sure you use it in an efficient way. Um, but yeah, having a creative, simpler solution is better than a more complex, hard to understand solution. Well, some sort of a uh, uh, razor there from, from, from Bader. Thanks again to Bader Joseph, CTO of IODLT, and to you, all those developers. We're still waiting for your submission. So please join us and take part on the Power and Possibility Hackathon. And of course, stay in touch for the next mentor to this part of this episode. See you, Bader. Thank you so much. See you. Thank you so much, Alexis. To get more information about the Symbol Hackathon, please visit our website, symbolplatform.com.